Podcast Show, episode number 171. I am your host, Norma Sanzo. Joining me today is Ro. Hello, all you happy people. Hey, Ro, how are you doing? Doing great. I feel so majestic, so ultimate. Alrighty then. Also You're not going to ask me why? Later, I'm going to save that for and I ask everyone. Also joining us today is King. Hello. Hey there, King. Hi there. And returning for the third time in a row, Kyle. Hey guys, third time lucky, is it? I think so. Uh, by, by this, you should just join us, man. Forget about your show, join us. <laughs> oh, yeah, they listen a lot, ladies. Join you, I'll get a little picture beside James, a little thin, so lovely. <laughs> <laughs> on that topic, I believe you mentioned the new podcast last uh, last time, right? Mm. Yeah, no. What am I doing on did... this one? I'm closer to you. <laughs> hey, yeah. Peter. I don't know how this works. You know what? We should be doing a podcast ourselves. Uh, trainers! Trainers, I say! Trainers! We're not trainers. Um, it's, um, it's, it's, um, it's, uh, King, help me out here, please. Uh, <laughs> you are uh, You dug yourself into this. I'm willing to admit I'm a trainer. You're the one that's like, no, 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 no. I'm not a trainer because, it's, because, because, help me out. No, I'm not a traitor. I am... Something else, uh, I don't know, I will come up with an excuse by the end of the show. <laughs> an opportunist? Is that how you say it? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. I don't know, opportunist or, I don't know. I'm just whatever Jan needs me to be. Right. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> uh, but anywho, anywho, how are you guys? And start off with Ro. So, why are you so excited, man? I have a beard. Ah. My madness is intensifying. Hmm. Is it enough to challenge Dusty? Uh, not yet, but we're getting there. We're mm. getting there. Right, the thing right. is, I just, well, I made a self-portrait, take a few pictures, post it online, and all of a sudden I know I'm being invited to, like, art groups, like, for the thick beard. An <laughs> art group on you now that's dedicated to beards. Like, suddenly I'm getting so much notices and attention, like, whoa, if I knew that, I would have not shaved in ages. <laughs> wait, wait, you said you posted pictures. I I, I haven't seen those pictures. Where have uh, yeah, them? I kind of deleted that because I was like, wait a second, what am I doing? I can't show my real face. <laughs> well, That's why against not? my policy. <laughs> Never okay. post any real information or stuff on the internet. Well, you're an artist. You're some kind of celebrity of some sort, so you I... should at least some facial recognition. Well, I did so post I myself portraits, I think. Hmm? If you want to roll his advice, don't show your face on the internet. I do that on a daily basis. Whoops. Oh, true that. True well, that. there has to be... I have professionals hip standards. And I... The, 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 oh, how do I English? Mm-hmm. I already posted like, quite a few of my self-portraits. I don't know why I do a lot of self-portraits. I may have a problem. I'll need to check on that. But yeah. Uh, artistic narcissism. That's a new title. <laughs> yes, yes, that needs yes. to be a thing. Uh, mm. take, oh, that sounds take it less... Art. Yeah, that sounds less... Um, much better than inflated ego, so we'll go with that. <laughs> All right, uh, then. All right, then. Depends on hey. if you know what narcissism means, but yeah. I have no <laughs> idea, but I like the way it sounds. Oh, narcissism God. means you're obsessed with yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like, imagine uh, Robbie Downey Jr. He is the definition of uh, narcissism. narcissism. You know, he's like, he's, he's like, no, I'm always right. I'm perfect in every but way. But that's an act, right? Like, he's not, like, that in real Oh, life. no, 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 yeah, no, I mean, I mean, I can't remember his name in the damn show. Uh, Tony oh, yeah, Stark. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tony yeah. Stark. Yeah, I think someone okay. that's actually narcissistic is probably Donald Trump. Like, he's the actual narcissistic. Moving on swiftly. <laughs> uh, no, no, no comment, man. I got no idea what to say. But, so, King, how about you, man? How have you been doing? Uh, doing the course making videos, trying to improve my videos. I actually haven't drawn anything in weeks. Well, I've literally just been making loads and loads of videos because I'm going away soon and I need uh, so like when I get when I get back I don't want people going, You didn't put up some video this week and going, You're right, I didn't, so I have four videos. You didn't post one this week, I'll post you five, six, <laughs> seven, eight. Stop miring me, I need a real life too. <laughs> <laughs> that is also true. That is also true. At least you're uh, thinking about your fans and people have to understand that you're a jack of many trades. You do let's plays, reviews, drawings, and you do podcasts on the site. So yeah, yeah, pretty much. Well, that's the thing. There is no, there is no. What do, people say? What do you do in this fandom? I'm like, it's a good question. Uh, what? So they always say the next thing they say is, "What's the main thing you do?" And I go, "Uh, <laughs> depends I on my mood." <laughs> yes. Are you not entertained? No. Then I'm not doing my job properly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, all right. 
And oh, by the way, King, how has the course been doing? Like, have you been shipped out yet to foreign countries? Or when is it going to happen? Have I been shipped out to foreign countries? Hmm. Well, I'm going to call on a podcast right now, so I'm going to say no. <laughs> well, you do have to remember, this is the internet. We can be all over the place. Yeah, but the place I'm going to is literally in a valley. Uh, it's basically where they go to train, like, you know, lots of different people. So there's no connect, there's no internet. There is no internet connection mm. or, fo- or signal for phones. I am literally going off the grid, essentially. <laughs> Oh my. So if you don't return, we shouldn't be worried then. If, if how, I don't how return, long is it? then how long I'm is dead. it? <laughs> uh, two, weeks. two weeks. Two weeks. Thing is though, is, um, it's two weeks and then I immediately, the day I get back, uh-huh. I have to pack another bag and go to a convention. Uh, Brony convention? Yes. Oh well. Right. Want to hype it up so people know where they can meet you? Yeah. If you want, it's called the Great British Brony Con. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, in a place called the Platinum Hotel. In Manchester, my awesome. hometown. Yay! It's not as big as Book. It's it's instead of Book. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people know know about it because of that. But that's about it. I mean, we can put it in the show notes, I guess. But it's not like it's the next Galacon sort of thing. It's just a, a local convention. Yeah, something to fill in Buck's spot when Buck comes again next year, right? Oh, they do it every year. It's just oh, they really? decided Book was like, oh yeah, we're not doing it this year, and they went, oh well, we'll take their spot. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, right. However, they couldn't get the same venue. So. Ah, it's cool. But you know what? So for you local Manchester's, there, if you're interested in seeing King, well, here's a chance. Meet the face behind the. Well, you already seen his face on the YouTube. Oh, because but... meet the face that you see every day. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, if you want to hang out with him and talk to him and get his response in real time, you can meet him there. <laughs> I, I, I warn you, I'm exactly how I am in person as I am online, so... <laughs> Yay! Literally, I, d- I don't... Yeah, no, just as nutty and... I have the same sense of humour. You might swear a bit more, because... You're in <laughs> no sense in real life. Yeah. <laughs> Stop right, my toe and I start swearing. That's not, that's not my fault. That's that's allowed. That's allowed. <laughs> uh, true that, true that. So, Kyle, how about you, man? How have you been doing? I've been doing pretty good, Norman. Uh, just... Uh worked on like the first episode of this new show we're doing with the Helen Bronies, uh, mm-hmm. Midnight Scribes Creative Vibes. So we just did the first episode with uh, James Cork and it went really well. It was a nice, it was a good pilot. So uh, we've been recording a couple of episodes with, I mean, I, I don't want to name drop, but Norman Sanzo is coming on the show. Oh man, that that fool. Why, why, why would he go there? Like, ugh, who wants to hear about him? I know, but I mean, we just have to book him in last minute. I mean, we have difficulty booking good guests, so we just got to work with what we get. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Ugh, Sat right here, guys. Sat right here. <laughs> oh, listen, I would have you on. Listen, King, you just have to say it. We'll have you on. And I'll come on your show as well, and we'll actually do, like, we'll, we'll combine it together. We'll become a force. Scotland and England united. Show? You must have, have a show? show. You can have no. a show. Why not? <laughs> have a show. Why not? Uh, okay. Because no one would watch it. It needs to be entertaining. What would I do? What about your video, man? 1,000 people. Yeah, that's because they watched the animation I watched. They didn't watch me. There's a difference. <laughs> they watch it for... Uh, you know what? This is very meta. This is very meta. Ay, ay, ay. So anyway, guys, today in news, we have a lot of sports. And I don't know if sports is a good thing for us. Well, I, I don't know about you guys, but I personally don't play that much sports. <clears throat> what about you? I play golf uh, and that doesn't count. Really? Yes, I play golf. I, well, I I live in Scotland. It's it's par for the course. No pun intended. <laughs> it's, how they decide, it's how they decide <laughs> dinner over there. <laughs> but oh, right. on, on that topic of golf, golf is the most arrogant sport <laughs> you can play. And before anyone tries to correct me, the ball is yay big. I'm currently holding my fingers up to about the size of a golf ball. And the course is massive. <laughs> there is no need for that much land for a ball that size. I just love that your idea of explaining the size is the, the size of a golf ball is the size of a golf ball. <laughs> well, okay, uh, who hit right? broke me. <laughs> okay, who doesn't know what a golf ball is? I do know what a golf ball is, yes. There I you do. go, have you seen a golf ball before? Yeah. There <laughs> you go, boom. A golf ball is the size of a golf ball. <laughs> <laughs> Very meta. Yes. But, okay, um, you, yeah. you were saying about something before? I do a lot of sport. Oh, uh, what kind? Uh, rugby, uh, English football, not mm-hmm. American football, because that's not football, that's rugby. That's rugby with padding. With padding. Uh, <laughs> rugby, 
football, martial arts, and not badminton. The uh, squash. Tennis. Good. No oh, squash. squash. I don't like tennis. Tennis oh, is yeah. too. Tennis is too thick. It's too like ten, you know badminton and uh, and squash. You've got like a little tiny ball that's going around at massive speeds, mm-hmm. and you've got to be really agile. And I mean, you have for tennis as well, but the size of the tennis board just makes me feel so. You can hear the sound of the ball. It's like thud, dunk, thud, dunk. I prefer uh, the loud wisps of air going past the rear. Guys, talking about sports, the new Equestria Girls movie is all about sports called Equestria Girls Friendship Games. So, yeah. as you guys know, that the book is going to be released on October 6th. No, uh, yeah, I've heard about that somewhere. I'm just think- I'm thinking because I've been keeping up with a lot of parody news at the moment. So, that rings a bell from somewhere. I'm just not sure where. Besides the EQDs and whatnot, it seems like an interesting thing because from what I understand... The books, as per usual, has nothing to do with the movie itself. It's like a prequel before the movie starts. So that's something interesting to look at. I'm still looking for the movie. I'm yeah, me too, man. Me too. Science Twilight needs to be a thing. Oh, yes, that's so true. Well, I say it needs to be. It is a thing. I need to, I need to see that as in, in a full movie. That needs to be a thing. Hi, Twilight. What the hell? I don't know any of you. Uh, what? <laughs> Hi, Spike. Woof. What? <laughs> Oh, I'm so looking forward to it, you don't understand. I've not been this giddy since episode 100. Oh man, that was a good episode. Like, Oh, episode 100. Mm, so good, so good. But, wow, this book, I got no idea. Like, seeing the picture, seeing the toys that comes out, like, I got no idea what to say. Usually the toys are very disappointing, and the movie is usually good. So let's just see what we get here. Let's just see what we get. Any of you guys hype for this, like, reading the books and whatnot? No, I I don't keep up with the books, as you know, mm-hmm. which is more of a, it's not even a preference, really. It's just I don't have time. Literally, that's it. I have all the comics. I have them all. I just don't have the time. <laughs> mm. I feel you on that one. Mm. And, you know, I, I would quite like to read them. You know, I'd like to give them a shot. But considering how bad I am at trying to catch up with the show, I wouldn't want to try and do the books as well. Like, you know, just... I need to actually get my priorities straight before I try and go off into the books and the comics as well. Yeah, well, the comics are pretty fun to read. No one asked me what sport I liked. Oh, yeah, okay. Ro, <laughs> what sports do you like? I like badminton, I like tennis, I like golf. Basically, everything that I can hit with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> Including oh. baseball. Oh, wow, baseball. And speaking of which, isn't, there, isn't someone making, like, Pinkie Pie baseball figures? Mm, yeah, I have That's... seen that. They look really quite good. I mean, I like. I mean, I like the idea of putting like My Little Pony with baseball figures. You know, it seems like is it just me that thinks it's quite an odd mix? Friendship is magic versus baseball, known for huge divisions across America, or is that just me? I don't know. <laughs> I just love the idea of being like, um, how are we going to settle this? We need the elements of Harden back. Batter up, dirt, 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 dirt. At the base is Discord. At the base is Discord. <laughs> Picture is. One of the main Pink. six, whoever you want to be. Yeah, Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie. <laughs> yeah. And talking next about Pinkie Pie. Next up, next up the bat, Chrysalis. Oh, no. Ooh, the villains versus the good guys. Ooh. <laughs> but, That's yeah. what I'm saying. Mix the teams. It's not just one side. <laughs> Sombra is uh, fielding next to, I don't know, Cadence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, but it seems that, well, if you're going to San Diego Comic Con, there's exclusive figures done by... Uh, what you want to call this? Do, 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 do. Mm, who are you done by? Exclusive SDCC figure collection. Mm, well, I, I think it's done by Hasbro then. And in association with MLB, uh, Major League Baseball. So, yeah, you can get a few, well, a variety of teams like the New York Yankees, the Dodgers. I, I think there's Dodgers. I got no idea. St. Louis awesome. Cardinals, Chicago Cubs, Boston Red Fox, Los Angeles Dodgers, Detroit Tigers, and New York Yankees. Yeah, wow, you know a lot about baseball, don't you? Uh, uh, not really, I just like swinging the bat, you know. I, I just hear stuff, you know. <laughs> I, you completely lost me. I had no idea what you all just said. You could have been talking in equestrian for all I knew. Those it's, are it's... like one of the famous <laughs> baseball teams in America. Yep. Yeah, that's the thing, in and America. That's the, and, there, and that's what Pinkie Pie is going to be wearing the outfits of the, those teams. Well, at least the the logos on the hat and the shirt, from what mm, I can see. Mm, yeah. And it's a, it's a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, apparently, so you won't be able to get it anywhere else. 
darn it. Well, except the Hasbro store after they sold it out. But you know it's what? It's exclusive. You won't be able to get it anywhere else except for, uh, worldwide after it's done. No, well, actually, the Hasbro store does this. Like, Hasbro Looking always out. does this before, after they go to a con, like after they do the San Diego Comic Con and after they do their own My Little Pony convention. I don't remember where, but after they do all that, they put it on the Hasbro store where it's a limited stock. Hmm. So basically, it's going the way of gaming. First it releases on exclusively on the console, then a year later it goes on the PC. No, uh, a year, I see year what they later. Did it's it's not even a year later. It's just a few. I know it's just an example of how things work. Yeah, but I I don't think so. This will have a much broad appeal because well, um. For example, we're here from a region that doesn't play baseball. Probably we play rounders, but that's about it. Any of you guys played rounders before? Yeah. Yeah, we played rounders. I think we used to do it all the time, but I'm guessing... I love rounders. In school? I love rounders for the sole fact that uh, every single time, and I'm telling you, nearly every single time I picked up that bat, it would slip out of my hands because, you know, <laughs> we'd be running around and I'd like sweaty palms, and mm. then it'd... Whoosh, it would always clock someone in the head. I love rounders. <laughs> oh, that was wow, my favourite part of rounders. I Wait, swear no, I must have knocked out kids as a kid. Like as a kid, I must have knocked out about five people around us. So oh much fun. my god, that's just violent. Uh, yeah, I know it's what you. <laughs> yeah, it's true, but I know what you usually do with baseball bats. Video game been to- telling me a lot of things, but not that kind of thing where you. Maybe I'm playing the wrong sports. I don't know. I actually I have enough sports. It's a, a matter of taste. Some like the it's a matter of taste. Some like to Are you all the kid I knocked out in primary school? I think it might have been. I think you came up and decimated our team, and I've actually got a headache now remembering that bat. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, I'm having like a flashback. I've seen worse. Like, We've had a uh, bat, cricket game. Bats. We had a cricket game, and have you ever heard of a slap shot in cricket? Uh, no. It's basically, you literally, it's... Imagine if you do a golf swing, but you don't lift it up that high. Mm-hmm. And you hit the ball as hard as you can, and it's meant to be for shots. It's like, you know, a strike in football. Like, mm-hmm. you're meant to try and kick, kick as hard as you can into the back of the net. Unfortunately, this one guy on our team wasn't, didn't quite have the hang of it, and he'd raise it up to play, like he was doing a golf club. Oh. Raised it up too quick and ended up cracking one of his own teammates in the face. Oh. He lost all the entire row of his upper jaw. Like, oh. you know, the teeth. Every mm-hmm. tooth came out. Either in pieces or as a whole, but they just lost an entire row of teeth. Goodness Ooh. sake. Oof. Wow, talk about Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Did you see the uh, blood splatter in film? It's like, <laughs> epic headshot sort of thing. It was like that. I was just like, oh, that's a spray. That was cool. <laughs> I mean, said that the amount of money he got from the two Fairy was absolutely fantastic. Oh, yeah, true yeah. that, true that. And with no, that money... got like half price because they're all broken. Oh. Half prices. That's just, that's just, no, no. Well, on the bright side, at least you won't have to worry about visiting the dentist. <laughs> or, or uh, I, I, he really will do. <laughs> One of the yeah. two. That would be yeah. slightly, you know, awkward moment being there in the dentist and the dentist is going, ah, great to see, um, your teeth are still as great as ever. I don't have any. <laughs> uh, yeah, but your gums look so beautiful. <laughs> well, that's great, but you're missing the point. <laughs> Good, gummy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But you, you do know that, um, we have a pony podcast, right? And uh, we are really sidetracking. But I love this. I oh, love this that's the best thing about podcasts. You can sidetrack and talk about whatever you want. Yeah, I, I do love this tangents. The tangents are fun. But unfortunately, did you guys know on October the movie is going to come out? Unfortunately. There's quite a few movies on the list I'm waiting to release in October. Which one are we talking about again? The one that isn't Star Wars or the Minions film or the Ever film. Uh, yeah. Wait, what Minions film? Oh, you know, Despicable Me? Uh, they, the also minions, Despicable but... Me, it's an awesome film. Yeah, oh, the, that was the... Minions. Okay, that's something to look forward to. Yeah, I don't care. It's like the pre-sequel, know. like 46 years before Groot. <laughs> <laughs> I love that trailer. Well, I am not really doing well with the segues, anyway. But anywho, um, the Equestria Girls uh, Friendship Game movie is going to come out this October. So, yay, oh, wow. that, that's awesome. So we have the book there, and the movie's going to be there, too. When did... Um, Rock, Rainbow Rocks come out? Rainbow Rocks come out, I am not 100% This year sure. or last year? Last year, if I remember right. Like, uh, give me a second, I am going to try and wiki for it. So, If it's this year, they work bloody quick. Well, you do know that the episodes are written way in advance, right? Yeah, well, I know. I was there for the interview. Hmm. 
Yeah. So we got that. So I'm not sure. Let's see. Um. Oh, this is friendship games. Uh. On. Uh, um. Nothing much has been said. Well, I am trying to kill time here. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Don't kill it. Spend it wisely. Okay. Uh, now I know. I would like Top to ask dragon. any of you. I have a, a question for you guys, mm-hmm. and put this in the podcast or don't. I don't mind. Uh, do you know anyone who does pixelated arts, like animations? And if so, do you know if they're doing commissions or requests? Because mm, I can't I do this. I personally don't, but um, there's a few out there, right? Like uh, if the pony pixel artists, like I wish I could remember the names, but I don't. And by the way, uh, Rainbow Rocks came out on 2014 on. Uh, June, June 2014 on the 19th. So this right. s- somewhere around this time of last year. Fair enough. Yeah, no, I was going to say it didn't feel like it's been a year already, but I guess it has. Jesus, oh, I've been going for three years already. My bad, not not June, but uh September. It's well three months away, but still that fast. Speaking of which, my gallery is now one year old. Yay! Yay! <laughs> awesome. It's been, it's exactly one year since I left my stupid job and started to draw for a living. Yeah. Oh man, time flew fast. Mm-hmm. Hey, you feel it feels amazing. weird. It feels weird. It seems like time flew fast, and yet it feels like it's been so slow because of all the stuff I've been doing around, meeting new people, so many achievements to list. Damn. Okay, found achievements. Achievements. That's awesome. Oh. Have you seen my game on Xbox? <laughs> Yeah, actually, I was planning to do that for my one-year anniversary. Like, list of achievements, like in Steam. Oh, God, no. Like, for example, this just an achievement. Become mm-hmm. a newscaster on a podcast. Uh, well, you have time to... You 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 do have time to do that. Oh, no. I but, am, yeah, yeah I, that's the beauty of freelancing. I'm just taking a look see at the wiki, and I'm just looking at the Friendship Games poster. Coming fall 2015, uh, the Wonder Colts versus the Shadow Bolts. That's something. That's cool. And I'm going to post a picture in the group here because people might want to take a reference. And if you want to take a look, see at the pictures, just go to the wiki. It's there. So, yeah, we have starring Sunset Shimmer now. So that's cool. After Rainbow Rocks, I won't be surprised. Yeah, Rainbow Rocks. Like, oh, yeah. Sunset Wait, Shimmer. Like that's like Spider- Pony. Hold on, there's Fluttershy, Rainbow, Pink, Keep, Sunshine, Twy. Who's the other three on the right side? Rival school? I, I got no idea. Probably some other schools. There are toys out there, but I, I don't know. Where's Jack? In the background? <laughs> She's got a tan. She's the blue one. Oh, um, I... Wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, King? I'm just saying, like, with, the, with, some of the, with the, some of the promotional stuff I've seen of uh, Equestria Girls and other... Stuff like I've seen boxes with it says Fluttershy on the front, and then the colors like black and white, and it's just different colors, completely wrong, wrong key mark, and all that. So I get the feeling that like, this isn't that. I mean, there, you're right, there's no Applejack. I mean, it just and doesn't see. Rarity. Rarity's also missing. This ain't the main six, this is the main five. This is technically this is no, it's not... the main, it's the main, it's the main four plus one. Like I said, five and a half. What, what you guys are seeing here is not, um. It's not the main six. It's just uh, the Wonder Colts versus the Shadow Bolts. Like, if you notice here, Sunset Sh- from starting from Fluttershy to Sunset Shimmer are the Wonder Colts, and from Twilight to the pink one is the Shadow Bolts. Oh, so they're from rival school. Ah. Twilight's on oh. the dark side. How could they? I She's... maybe that's the science Twilight then. The, like there, the is human... science twilight. there is a science oh. Twilight. There is a science Twilight. In in my head right now, the reason for this happening, for how Science Twilight went to the other side, or just to kind of high, is just she joined sports team, so their team could go to kind of high and she could investigate the strange happening that's going on there. Oh, I like the idea of her actually being really athletic underneath that nerdy facade. But yeah, that works too. That is also cool, like nerdy and athletic. You don't see that too often. <clears throat> but I said you don't see that too often. Not you don't see it at all. <laughs> Moving <laughs> on. Uh, I'm Rodney. right here. Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying I'm not this excluding. I'm you, joking. Rodney. I'm messing, mate. I'm messing. I'm messing. Don't worry. <laughs> I know, man. I know. 
So Lambda. let's see what we got. We got archery. We got rollerblades. We got I don't know, maybe sports car Wait, racing. Rollerblades? Yeah. Uh, roller skates. Oh yeah, I hadn't even noticed that. Rollerblades in America, roller skates in England. You get the idea. No, no, no. Like rollerblades are inline. All right. Oh, so <laughs> archery drive by, and drive by archery with rollerblades. That's the sport <laughs> I want to see. <laughs> that would be something, actually. Coming up next is some nutter on roller skates firing a bow. <laughs> Duck and cover, people. Duck and cover. <laughs> would you say that's a drive-by? No. No. <laughs> uh, Considering the joke started out as that we need a drive-by archery, you can't make a pun with the joke. <laughs> yeah, that's completely besides the point. Oh, I am bad. I am bad. On Leave so many the Leave it the uh, but Lycan won't come on the show anymore. He's been doing his show, own show. Huh. Everybody's got a that's goddamn show. Good for him. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, you do have your own show too. We Maybe. all have our own shows. Yes. You know, you have your own show, King. If you were doing video no, show, you have a show. How do you know? I'd, I'd make videos as a difference. I do live streams. The Relicious Art Show Night. But it's been on hiatus because, well, we're having some technical things that we need to start out first. And then we'll be back. I've and the short bored. messages. <laughs> <laughs> I've been supplying myself with things like capture cards and capture gear and extra la- like uh, laptops and computers and cameras and yeah, everything. So there's going to be a lot of stuff coming out like soon. Let's Plays. Mm. Oh, yeah, soon as in possibly by the end of tomorrow sort of like oh, soon. Oh, wow. Awesome. Soon. So... You, there's something in your future there, and the ponies. Have... <laughs> your future, it shall be. Ponies aren't the main concern anymore. Well, they are, and they're not. Like they're a big part of it, but they're not the main focus. Mm. Well, at least ponies are going to have a movie, and you're going to do a lot of recording. And well, this could be fun. It is going to be fun. So, anywho, um, I, I we reach our end. So. I, I got nothing to add unless somebody else sees anything interesting and they want to add something. Uh, I would I'm like s- to go on. I, know, so I would just. I'm seeing a lot of interesting things, but I don't think this is the addition this show needs. And yeah, nah, nah. Oh, talking about sports one more time. Do you guys know the sports dragon boat thing, like dragon boat? Uh, I know I motor boating. Does that count? Yeah. Motor boating. Yeah. Dragon boat is when you get a group of people and. Each of them rows a really long boat, you know? Do you mean, is it like a Viking oh, sport? Oh, that's what they call a dragon boating. I know what you're talking about. We have this here on our local lake downtown every now and then. Yeah. Yeah, and they do a lot of races. So I'm just posting it there because, well, uh, Hasbro, uh, Hasbro Hong Kong is entering and they got their uniform up and it looks awesome. That t-shirt. I know. Just participate and you, you'll get a shirt. It, the shirt looks cool. It's Rainbow Dash team, so they're going to win. So, yay! Who's Stanley? 100%. What? There's a, there, 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 cool. I'm looking at the, um, at the t-shirts and there's the name Stanley 2015. Is it, is, are you like going to have a name shirt with your name on it? Or is it the name of the city in Hong Kong? Stan- <laughs> Welcome to Stanley. <laughs> I don't know. I... Seriously, don't know. I, Google, I'm uh, just... Google Google Stanley City. See if that comes up. I want to see. <laughs> Regardless of whether it's in Hong Kong or not, I want to see if that's a thing. Uh, just... No, no, no. It's the 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 event is called Stanley Dragon Boat Competition. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Sorry. If anyone here ever found a city, I wanted to be called Stanley. <laughs> but still, um, this is cool, right? Like Hasbro participating and stuff. Really cool, really cool. Yeah, it's good for the publicity. It's good for the publicity. <laughs> Welcome to Stanley City. Come for the name. Never leave. <laughs> and it's and the best part is is for the girls division of the team. So that's also cool. I wonder what the boys division are like. Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, maybe. GI yeah, Joe. Yeah, that's a really manly, I'd say. Yeah. But yeah. But they're really manly. That's... You've got Rainbow Dash there. That's manly. True. True. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I I think that's that's all we can feel for this week without making it sound forced. <laughs> uh, I am losing my touch. People help me. People help Speaking me. Speaking of force, you can got you the take touch. these chains off for hurting? <laughs> no. You got the power. You got the touch. <laughs> yeah. I've yeah. got the power. Wrong song. I know, but I like that song more. 
Yeah, no, fair enough, fair enough. No, no comment. But yeah, oh wow, that was this week's episode. So, what can I say except... Watch my videos. Have... <laughs> Give me a second, King. No, uh, shameless blogging. You just said you could... Oh, what about Amy Larson's book? <laughs> Well, right, if we plug that anymore, we're going to end up needing to plug the sink. Jesus Christ. Uh, give us a second then. Well, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at com. If you want to tweet to the show, you can reach sweetiebot at the MBS show. And she will tweet about, well, stuff like buying Emily Larson's book. <laughs> uh, plug the sink. And if you want to tweet to me, you can find me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet stuff about anything really uh, Twitter Tumblr I don't know I tweet stuff that I like and Ro what about you man what what do you do what can where can they reach you I do art and you can find me at relicious.deviantart.com or my Tumblr reliciousgallery.tumblr.com or on my Twitter at relicious underscore art I tweet about eh, different stuff my thoughts my what I see outside the window etc etc you know all Only- for the giggles only thing he doesn't tweet is his face, so no selfie tweets. Yes, Ooh. and plus it's an amiibo and Splatoon free zone. Oh, just no. side. Just, just, just no, just no. Boo, boo. I'm going to too mainstream, man. I'm getting too hipster for this. Uh, but wait, King, what about you, man? Where can they reach you? I've said it so many times now here. If you guys don't know, check the show notes. I've said it so much. <laughs> I'm at the same place as always. Demon Art, Tumblr, and YouTube. Mm-hmm. And oh. my Picato. Yep, yep. Go, 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 go follow his awesome. Oh, by the way, King, I need to say thank you. Thank you for the bump in your recent review, the episode 100 uh, reaction. That was awesome, man. That was awesome. I see, I seen it and thanks for the plug, man. You're welcome. You're welcome. What the hell did I do? Literally, I don't know what you're on about. You plugged the show near the end saying that how you talked to Larson. Of course I plugged that talking to Larson. I talked to Larson. <laughs> No, but that was Thank you for booking Larson. You you mean I wouldn't take the chance to boast that I've spoken to M.A. Larson in a friendly manner? <laughs> uh, but no, what you said was true. Well, what did you do last Saturday? I was talking to Robbie Downey Jr. You know, you were doing yeah. what? I was talking to Robbie Downey Jr. You're not going to plug that. Meh. Yeah, yeah, true, yeah. No, but still, but still, thanks a lot, man. And we got a few people who came in from your end. So that that was that was good. That was awesome. Did we? Oh, all right. Yeah. Well, a few, a few. Keep it up, guys. I'm gonna keep on reacting. I'm gonna make let's plays. Keep on watching. I love you all. Seriously, I, Yay. I, I literally base my value as as a human being around how many people enjoy my stuff. So oh, those you're... figures, the little line that goes up and down. If it goes down, I'm, I'm sad. If it goes up, oh. I'm happy. So wait, your stuff. By you mean your stuff? Okay, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> yeah, my stuff. Kyle, my what junk. about you, man? <laughs> yeah, your junk. All in uh, my trunk. No. <laughs> what about you, Kyle? Right, before this turns into a Black Eyed, Black Eyed Peas song, uh, <laughs> <what's it? laughs> just before it ends up going there, um, well, you can find me on Tumblr at the One Midnight Scribe. I'm usually posting random funny things, uh, things about sexuality and gender and all sorts of fun little bits that I reblog from the internet. You can also find my writing stuff at facebook.com forward slash Kyle McCall. Um, recently put up the link to the first video of the new show I'm doing, which I'm plugging again because I've got, I've got to use my airtime very well here. Yes. Which is Ed Midnight Scribes Creative Vibes, which you can find on the Highland Bronies YouTube channel. So feel free to have a look there. You know, like, subscribe, share, please. We need the exposure. Please, please, oh, pretty please. True. I've been there and it was an awesome... 15 minutes, no, 25 minutes, was it? Or th- half an hour? I have no idea. I've yet to hear the edited version because I know um, there's one in the pipeline and then there's yours as well. So I haven't heard these edits. I'm going to have to chase Dion and find out exactly what they sound like because yeah. it was a really great episode. I mean, it was brilliant mm-hmm. fun having you on. Yeah, because if you guys didn't know, like, they invited me on and we talk about, well, basically what I do, the show, and fun talk about video games like we didn't talk ponies that much but video games oh god i wish i could talk video games with you guys I could talk oh. you can do that's it's your podcast dude that's the best thing about a podcast is you just talk if people get bored they stop listening oh, and then that. they come back the next episode to see if you talk about something they like <laughs> oh so true so true but seriously you, know you should just do a gaming one one day like that's yeah, true so you know what let's do it after this so, also please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. Yes, we have the Facebooks. You can also catch us on PonyOfLife.com. So, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am Relicious. 
I'm Kekas Kang. Midnight Scribe. Stay tuned. Probably we'll post the gaming episode. Probably, I don't know. But anyway, see you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. I love you. I love you.